So just a quick recap of this past week. And this day is the 25th, and so seven days prior. Uh, today I hit uh, 200 for 20 on squats. That felt pretty good. And then after it, uh, a couple of friends and I had a front squat challenge, and we worked up to like 230, 235, 240, something like 230. We'll just say 230, I think it was. Um, for one, so that was a pretty big PR for me since I don't front squat much at all. Uh, things to note on that, my heel came up on the two top sets we did on my left side. Um, so I don't know what really was up with that. Uh, I tried to keep it in mind for the last rep, but it still came up. So something that I'm going to have to work on if I decide to front squat more. I also found it very difficult to get a full breath while front squatting with that heavy load on me. And I was doing the... Uh, elbows up I guess not the cross so there was that um, pretty interesting and then last night was my deadlift day that was the 24th and so deadlifts are feeling really good um, I was only supposed to hit 340 for five but um, I know that that doesn't correspond with actually 10% of my max uh, which falling five through one it based everything off of 10% of your actual max or training max and so um, I at least wanted, I skipped the 340, so I went from 325 for five to 350. And so I at least wanted 350 and I was just gonna sort of pull it for whatever I could. And so I pretty much started pulling and it felt really good. Killed the first five reps um, and then pulled out five more. I feel like I did have more in the tank. Probably could have at least hit 12 total reps. Uh, but I felt my form starting to degrade and my hands were not very happy with me. They were pretty raw from the pulling, so I just called it quits there. So got that for 10, so that was a pretty good PR and that's a video I've got on here. And then the 22nd was a bench day. Actually did not go well. Everything felt heavy, even like my warm ups. Uh, was supposed to hit 185 for five, but could only get it for four. Got just about a little bit more than halfway up on the fifth rep and just couldn't get it up for there. Fought for it for a bit and then just told my spotter to take it. So, I don't know, I felt like my form was pretty good there. I could have exploded more off my chest with some leg drive and maybe I lost tightness, I don't know what. I've got a lot of trouble on the bench with keeping tight throughout all my reps, especially once we get up to five reps, three reps is pushing it, five is, I'm usually just gone by the fifth, so that's something I've gotta work out on. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, if I can hit the 210, maybe even 215 uh, on bench this upcoming week for my one week of 531. Um, yeah. Oh, I also have some tricep pain going on um, in my tricep tendon. And so I read up online a bunch, and it could be like tricep tendonitis. And I was like, oh no, that sounds horrendous. Uh, and so. That didn't really go too hot. Um, oh, right. So I pulled all my squats that day high bar because it was it was hurting. Um, even getting tight under the bar with the pressure being pushed down. Uh, so I did those high bar. And I did just a ton of tricep rope pull downs. And that seemed to help. Like I'm talking five for 20. Um, five, uh, four sets, so 100 reps total. Um, or five sets of 20 reps, so five reps, 20 reps, 100 reps total. God, I can't even think. Um, and I've been doing that every workout since just because it has been flaring up every once in a while and that seems to get enough blood moving through there and I guess loosening it up, I don't really know. Low weight, just 30 pounds on that, um, 30, 40 pounds. Right, yeah, 30, 40. Um, and then the 20th was my squat day, and so I worked up for 290 for five, and so that passed one week ago, today, Sunday, I hit 290 for five, paused, and everything was feeling light, and I worked up to a ton of reps, ton of sets, ended up hitting 315 for a triple, then hit it for a double again. Um, definitely paid for that on the 20th when my actual squat day was up. Everything just felt so ridiculously heavy. Uh, 290 for five, not paused, was an intense grind where 
pause two days prior and it had been pretty easy actually um, definitely doable uh, but that was around the time where my elbow pain my tricep tendon uh, started acting up and so my bench that day felt quite hard and so did not enjoy that I didn't hit all my sets I don't think just sort of worked up to something heavy I was training with someone that day and I don't remember what they got up to but it was over 135 so I was just happy I got some volume in on the bench and then obviously a ton of direct tricep work with the pull downs um, other than that so I've been weighing myself and logging my body weight and I've been around 170 and today I weighed myself without my shoes and I came in at 167 almost on the dot and I was like wow are my shoes really that heavy and then I weighed my shoes and they're two pounds so that's kind of nice because I was worrying I was getting a bit too fat and that a water cut was going to be pretty difficult to get down to 163 but with my shirt my underwear my socks my pants or my shorts I guess I was uh, 167 so taking those off probably expect to be around 166 165 and that's a pretty short water cut down to 163 which is where I'm going to be competing at so overall I think it went well this week and I'm excited uh, for this upcoming week because I get to test my maxes. Uh, I want I want at least 130 or 3.30 on squat and I want 405 on deadlift. I'm excited for that. If my strength in reps can translate to strength in one rep maxes, um, I should be looking at a pretty big pull in my meet in December. Haven't gotten confirmation on that because the meet director has been very, very bad at getting back to me. I should just bug him more, be more direct, but doesn't matter. He cashed my check, so I'm assuming that means good stuff. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I guess I will check back in next Sunday and I'll upload my uh, max maxes for this upcoming week. Alright, peace.